All right. Well, hello, friends, and welcome to ITSL Game of the Week here on Action Round Zero. With Zima witt I'm Justin Abramson, and it's great to have you with us for a titanic clash in the EMEA conference between k Ann Fan and Sergei Sayenka. Sergei's 5-2 and two on the season, good for first place in his division. He also comes in ranked number 32 in the world with an ITS rating north of 6,000. His signature win on the season thus far came in turn 5 over Fear at Gunsu, and a win over KN would be a major feather in his cap as he looks to solidify his place at the top of the standings. KN, meanwhile, is no stranger to the spotlight. His 4-1 and one record leads the Orléans division, while his number 16 world ranking and 2020 ITSL championship belt mean that every one of his opponents had his name circled on their calendar when the schedules came out. Or at least I did. So wherever you are in the world, whether it's the morning, afternoon, evening, or even the wee hours, we thank you for tuning in to watch these two go head-to-head on Twilight Struggle's biggest stage. And with that, I'd like to turn to Zemowit. Uh, Zemowit, it is a truly a privilege to call today's contest with a legend of the game like yourself. Uh, what, uh, what do you notice about these guys opening hands, and what do you think we'll see these, uh, we will see Cayenne trying to accomplish on turn one? Thank you for bringing ARZ on such a professional heights that were truly unattainable with just me uh, uh, and Pedro doing the commentary since, well, the level of professionalism that you brought here to us is truly unparalleled. Okay, before I speak about the hand of Kea, maybe a bit of Polish-themed uh, curiosity, since both of these players competed also in the last season's ITSL, both advanced to playoffs, and both lost to Polish players, who then in the very next round faced each other. So, well, had they won against their Polish opponents, they would have already been paired against each other in their playoffs match last season. Okay, as for Kale, a pretty great hand. I see, maybe a Chinese opening with the factors? Or he's going to go for Red, Spur- Red Scare Purge? Well, I don't see why would you ever go turn one defectors if you had the purge. I mean, defectors might not do anything, especially, well, you have socialists. Oh, yeah, socialists, yeah. You're correct. So, so socialists and the golden hand, like, there is almost no point so on going defectors. One thing surprises me. I mean, I would expect him to play the goal or the start turn, at least, uh, unless he wants to hold a problematic card instead of defectors. But he put one in France. I mean, I would have went for. Uh... Okay, that's actually. Yeah, four I completely for agree two. With you, but I would love to just get the goal out of the deck here. Um, but one in France indicates maybe he plans to space it. I- I'm not sure. I guess we'll. I guess we'll see what uh, what uh, Kn's thinking. Oh. Okay. So the factors hit Vietnam value. Certainly a good value there to keep Sergey out of Southeast Asia early. Whoa. Okay. That's Perhaps scoring a concession. Jump suggests potentially some some weakness in Sergey's opening hand. That, but also means that he's surrendering the, the initiative for the turn, since the privilege to coup first uh, is such a great advantage for the Soviets. The fact that he didn't do it, didn't use that by dumping Europe means that early game advantage goes to Kayan immediately. For sure, yeah. He, and he's going to go into Pakistan and Malaysia, threatening, uh, and, and as, as well as Egypt, so threatening lots of battlegrounds here, uh, and really putting uh, Sergei on the back foot early on. Uh, now he's going to be pressed to respond here, maybe maybe with a coup, or, uh, but that's, that's, a, that's a big four ops early on for Kayan. Although he doesn't have many more ops in his hand, I mean, both his his three ops are, are with uh, strings attached to them. Uh, one of them is space card. The other one will probably be held for blockade or well, next turn. I was thinking exactly about that. Like, if you uh, red scare perch on that headline, you literally don't have any ops. You only have twos and True. three that True. come with a huge backlash, right? Like, you have to manage. So he's saying no real threes. So, indeed, uh, we see another scoring card out of Sergei's hand. So now Asia gone as well for even. Uh, so just not a lot of not a lot of playable op tech, not a lot of ops, period, for uh, Sergei. Sergei, I, I would assume, no doubt, planned to headline Vietnam and then quickly dump Asia scoring 
uh, but with it defected, got rid of Europe instead, and now Middle East the only one out, and U.S. far ahead. Okay, and it's already proving me wrong, showing that this was the hand, a situation in which defectors was a better headline. Yeah, and socialist governments goes to space, so I assume that so that means De Gaulle will be held for blockade. And DEFCON still sitting at five. And I'm I'm I was I was wondering perhaps is it is it possible here that Sergey has all three scoring cards because I was maybe a little bit surprised not to see KN take Levin on there take domination but getting the obligation out of your hand a good idea as well. It's quite likely okay, but that means he doesn't of course. Yes, so Sergey certainly would have dumped it right there if he had it. So just two scoring cards in Sergey's opening hand, uh, and he picks up a couple of early VPs by getting to space. Kayan finds himself now in a kind of funny situation with Arab-Israeli war in his hand. Normally, not really an issue, but right now, with both ha both sides having no mill-ups, yeah, that's exactly. don't want to give up these two mill-ups. Exactly what I was thinking, like... I was thinking like, well, now Egypt, Lebanon, and you just play out of Israeli, right? But yeah, you're giving yeah, him two mill ups, don't. and you're going into AR five without mill ups, and they already have two. So now that means your next AR is gonna be almost forced to be a coup, right? Even for USA, constantly is that there are no good coup targets. That's exactly so right. Uh, as for as Kayana, no, I just grab Egypt and Lebanon. I mean, yeah, I, I like this region. play. It's it's a little bit, um, you know, the the mill op situation is interesting, but uh, Sergey doesn't have any mill ops either, so uh, it's going to be an interesting game of chicken here these last couple of rounds. <laughs> One popular approach for the Soviets is to delay the matter of mill ops until very late in the turn, maybe the last AR, and then coup Italy, so a target where USA cannot respond. Uh, so asking a question, do you uh, retake Italy in case it wasn't grabbed immediately, or do you grab your mill-ups? Naturally, here, well, Europe is scored, so the immediacy of that is no longer, uh, it's no longer so pressing. Also, Kayan has in the Pakistani war. I think I would have, would event maybe now. Oh my, oh oh my god, god. unbelievable. I really out. didn't like that move. Yeah, and oh, okay, Damn, well, and a little okay. bit of retaliation. Rolls a five on the South Korea coup, so they each get a couple <laughs> of mill ops, and uh, Sergey picks up a couple of VPs that he probably wasn't expecting. But that's going to help him in the Middle East, where he is uh, currently pretty behind. Well, now he's not because now mm -hmm. he's three away but from taking Israel and Saudi Arabia. Nasser will has come. Has. If Middle East comes uh, after Nasser, then Soviets can't really be truly bad. In the Middle East. Okay, that's unfortunate that, because that just helps USA. And now what? I would event the war. Uh, yeah, eventing the war is two VPs for sure. Maybe an additional Maybe two. two now, DEFCON is going to go up to five, so you could invite an Italy coup on turn two. You probably want a coup, so you can coup and counter coup. Not so wasteful to coup. What? Just grab that Korean war? Was it played already? I, I don't mean for the event, but even for ops by the Soviets, I don't think so. You know, it hasn't, it hasn't been played. But no, you know, you so know that Kayan doesn't respect that a lot. He plays very aggressively into South Korea, so it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, but Asia is scored. The Korean War is out. Really? And you no, could just war grab is just, is two, there. two, four victory points. That, yeah, that, that struck me as a mistake. I, I think I would have invented the war there, but uh, Kayan's been doing it a lot longer than I have, and he's got that championship belt he's wearing, so I'm going <laughs> to trust him a oh. little bit here. I'm just a newcomer on the scene. Um, so a nuclear test ban headline here. Can't remember the last time I saw that, but you know what? It is good for three VPs or Sergey. And he works. finds himself up six points uh, with DEFCON at five here. Do you think we might see an Italy coup? I think that's or a more, very... You just go with the safer play in the Middle East. That's very unusual no. move. I think he has I a very blue hand. Least. Like oh, I don't know. Even yeah, sorry, a, even sorry. at three BPs, it's an unusual move to see. Like he might have a a very blue hand. No, well, maybe not blue, but inconvenient to headline. I mean, Warsaw Comic Con. I'm not counting uh, whether these cards have already shown up. Just uh, listing cards that might be inconvenient to headline. Even this 
you don't really want the stylization to have uh, to happen in the headline on Defcon 5. So there are plenty of cards that are worse, worse headlines, even with the factors accounted for. As things are now, I don't know, maybe to take Saudi. That makes yeah, sense. I think taking Saudi Arabia is a good play here. Uh, so Kayan has Nasser. He's going to hold decolonization, probably space the war. He's obviously going to have to give Nasser later in the turn. Probably will give it on AR6 uh, or or earlier, but only if, uh, of course, Middle East Italy. comes out. And here comes the no. coup. Ooh, la la. Okay, that could have been Italy, but... Okay, that probably means Sergei has a really scoring because he knows Kayan doesn't. Or that would have been an auto headline. <clears throat> yes. Ooh la la. A one up coup. Okay, no, come on. You should have at least used Fidel for it. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have to let Fidel go. So I like the. I like a two op coup here. Now he needs a huge roll and he doesn't get it. Rolls over. That one. one is not. Okay, so CIA, have we seen CIA? No. So Panama maybe if he doesn't have CIA and CIA if he does. Yeah, I think we will see CIA here if Sergey has it to get it out of the deck. If not, um, yeah, I like lowering DEFCON to two and then eventually taking Saudi Arabia, but there's no rush. And indeed, there is CIA. Right, and so that was scoring and very reason. blue hand, yep. just as you speculated, <laughs> uh, an incredibly blue hand, high ops hand. Not well, the worst cards to see in hand, but there's uh, my, my goodness, that's uh, that's Damn. a lot of blue. And Middle East scoring even itself is uh, is a is a colored blue as well. That might call for a China card play. Yes, with this hand I and say gone, I would definitely be playing China card this turn, especially if I can grab Pakistan for it, because I'm not giving up two of the. Okay, you space one, maybe you space two. That's another option, but still. Something interesting that I was thinking, uh, he doesn't have this salinization. So that means the Colombia play can wait if you want to. Coup? Would, would you coup here if you're KN again? Would you just go for a run and hope to roll big? Or would you do something else uh, just to, I think you probably want to coup here to just, just to protect Libya and Egypt or Panama, right? You probably I would, have I would to. just not to achieve anything, but to protect what's yours. I would probably put just one on on Pakistan. Okay, but now, now uh, Sergei was, will coup. Probably yeah, I Panama. I would expect a coup here now. Definitely. I mean, there is a decent chance of getting it. Uh, one in three, I think, of achieving anything, as in removing U.S. influence from Panama. <clears throat> okay, it's nothing, but. So he doesn't right. get the roll. Okay, okay that was important. So, yes, now probably Sarah Hayes should space as well to stop the double space. No rat, naturally. I like that play, and they are both uh, getting stuff done on the space race early on. Okay. Now, I wonder if Kayan will be inspired not enough to see that he should probably overprotect Pakistan, possibly also South Korea. Although I am expecting the play of the China card in that case anyway, but to the Middle East. Okay, Pakistan's gone. Yes, although, uh, so Sergey has got Middle East scoring in his hand. He's got US, Japan in hand. Do you think he gives up Japan right. to take Saudi Arabia here and get the domination? Huh. Right, I keep forgetting about that. But cost, now, it costs him US Japan. No. No, he's going to go but, ahead and score it for even. But that, that felt very wrong. I mean, either you go for domination, you grab the domination, or you play the China card now. Yeah, that's a situation where I probably would have accepted that I am hopelessly behind in Asia and gone ahead and grabbed my points in the Middle East. But, uh, of course, the domination could have been stopped by simply two in Jordan. So, mm. interesting interesting play there. Um, not sure what was the right Ooh. one. Lots of ops, but um, as you guys have said, lots of strings attached to those ops as well. I think it's, a, it's just a uh, quite expensive domination. Take into account that he could, he, yes. your opponent would, would parry with two ops, but you need six ops to be able to get those three VPs. 
Yep. And yes. I think we're going to see the, the Pakistan flip right here, right? Yep. And right. Do, so I think Kayant made a mistake by not overprotecting Pakistan. I mean, yeah, that, should have... that point in India would have yeah. gone just over, overprotecting Pakistan. Exactly. So, I mean, even if instead he goes to Korea, I mean, it's an inferior target. I mean, you might lose Korea to the war anyway. So you probably uh, prefer that. Yeah. So of course, now containment wars or regions yeah. scored. Uh, yeah, two into India makes sense to secure that third battleground with Japan still waiting. And now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Sergey has containment, Marshall, and U.S. Japan in hand. So certainly, we'll see containment here, and then uh, a, a two-op Nasser getting played. So well, some overprotection of Asia will be called for. Although you know, Truman had been played for ops, if it, had it been invented, I would have really considered going to West Germany, just breaking it with containment. Yeah, that's not a bad idea either. And then no. with Kyan, with Kans, two op Nasser. So where, where are we going to see again? He's going to protect Pakistan. Uh, Zimawit, I know there's a little bit of a Twilight Struggle meme going on with Burma, but do you think uh, any chance we see influence in Burma to protect India from the war? That's probably premature. Uh, I do recall something, but vaguely. So, no, no. I, I don't like Afghanistan, and I do not approve of uh, Burma here. Yeah, and instead he goes to I... France, which is probably the better play. Uh, and uh, KN is rewarded by drawing Indo-Pak, so India will be safe uh, until the late war, and uh, you know, barring some weird China card flip. Okay, Digital Perch, some great draw. Uh, well, he will pay the Piper in the Middle East, of course. But other than that, the Soviets will be quite crippled with some advantage. Be careful, the they're, they're going in. Yeah, they're going into the mid war with probably nine BPs ahead, if not ten or eleven, depending on the mill ops. Okay, that's useful. Useful knowledge. Yeah. So Cambridge Five, do you think we could see this go into Egypt and then a Libya coup and then a push for control in the Middle East? Because with the lack of access that this that Sergey has, uh, he doesn't have a lot of places to spend his ops other than going I, hog wild. In I the Middle personally would go for a coup into Panama. I wouldn't go for, for the control push. Now a perch player doesn't control the regions. Yes, of course. Uh, of course, you are you are right. Uh, Purge was headlined, so he almost certain, unless he has a ridiculous hand, he wouldn't have enough to uh, secure control. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Cambridge 5 to Egypt, sure. That's just one VP and a secure domination. A Q of Panama, yes, I think I like it. Although, of course, with the region hand... And you guys called it. Uh, Panama coup was the no, play, okay. a couple uh, of millops, I'm, and he failed keep, the roll, so it didn't really matter where he went. Yeah, I keep forgetting that uh, said he doesn't know about Millie scoring in Chaos hand. Yeah, so... No, he, he does. He, he do, now he does. But because we... he just played Cambridge 5. Oh, right, sorry. Oh, damn it. Right, right. <laughs> mm, yeah, I keep... Sometimes forgetting details like this. Okay, so I assume K and sorry, Serhi doesn't have any scoring because Europe would have been a headline, of course. Yep, and right. he's gonna go ahead and pick up another couple of VPs on the space race. So these guys really mm. getting uh, getting some space race action going on, and and an eight VP lead for Sergey looks good now. K N will event the war to save those two milops VPs, but now the tracker is going to go up to twelve. And uh, Sergey, without without any real access, but a lot of VPs here in the early war, maybe making KN a little bit nervous. Sure, although, of course, without any cards to get him more victory points, well, there's no way to get to 20 unless he gets some golden combos here. I mean, no Dico, no Distal, no chance of getting any victory points from space. He doesn't know about the Indo-Pakistani war. Okay, he's inching. Uh, we know Europe. that he's holding uh, Marshall. Maybe nothing else to do, although I would have overprotected North Korea first. Uh, Zimo, we, we know that he's dicey. holding from last turn Marshall and... Oh, he feels Japan, the yes. 
Okay, that's correct. Oh, right, and he needs to play one of them because he's just spaced Norad again. No, uh, yes, Norad. So one of them has to go. Hard to say oh. which one. In fact, I would have probably played Norad instead. Because giving any of these cards is such a huge concession. Another another NATO for the, NATO for the Soviet. Awesome. Look at all these blue fours. <laughs> Yeah, he played Nate on the last turn, so he just redrew it. So a UN on D-Stall now. Uh, D-Call obviously have to go to space. Vietnam gets played in the last action round. Thailand gets overprotected. Uh, and Africa is going to be empty. And uh, KN doesn't want to give Sergei the opportunity to coup in, in there. So Sergei is going to need to draw uh, one of the African access cards to to make any noise down there. And boy, the mid war regions sure look sure look barren here as we yeah. head into the <laughs> mid war. And that is, of course, a, a great sign for KN. True, and no, I'm astonished no. about the situation in Africa. I mean, yeah. in turn three at the latest, USA, unless really starved for ops, should be making headway into Africa. Grab sure. at least two Angola, one Zaire, one Cameroon. The yeah. Just for ops. Of and course, Mexico. KN was kind of busy this turn already with the scoring event, but yeah. well, having to protect Europe against some really great ops. Okay. <laughs> kind of funny. It's actually a bit inconvenient. Although yeah, I guess you can just ignore that. By, by Sergei there to poke South Korea. Just not a lot of great places to go with his ops. Um, Zima, what you mentioned earlier, a poke of West Germany, that's that's not a bad idea either. Yes, but, well, he is purged, and he last... <laughs> okay, I don't know his other card, but, well, he's not doing that with Marshall, of course. No, no, of course not. I'm kind of surprised that he used US Japan on AR5. And still, I think in Kayan's shoes, I would have just ignored South Korea for a moment, space decal, and possibly use Vietnam Revolts to fix the damage. Instead of just giving up the China card, well, for a good value, that is true. Whoa. There goes okay, Marshall. what is he holding? So what not a he lot be of, holding? Yeah, get, allowing Italy to get back up to four. That's, and the that's U.S., insane. the whole domination there. That's, man. Okay. And oh, Kian, okay. certainly happy to see Asia scoring in his hand. And Liberation Teology. He got uh -huh. lucky with that. And OAS to get him into South America as well. Oh, not the high a, hand, but... Pretty potentially a good. bear trap headline here probably the thing with that is you don't have a good coup target so maybe you want to hold it for the end of the turn whoa okay ballsy that's, ABM that's very ballsy but that. it's kind of well, safe little, it's, it's sort a little of worried about abm here but you know uh, yes. that there is no deagle possibility you know that there is no distal possibility so the only thing that oh oh my god okay okay they've both been really cool. ballsy no, no, Africa is perfectly justified here. I mean, okay, Colonials would have killed it. <laughs> right would there. have been a, a massacre, <laughs> but yeah. Maybe, Maybe he's he holding it. it, so that's how he knows, Even... yeah. And Colonials would have been a weird move in this situation. Whoa. So now with Asia gone, you, the Suriku flips Panama. Okay, and so the China card is going to head back into Kayan's hand. You Suri out of the game. And... I think now Panama was the only coup target that makes sense, but nonetheless, I, I think you got to take Mexico here immediately, right? Mm, I would have uh, gone for OAS. Probably. Yes, okay. Well, you do have liberation theology, but probably in case of the scoring for the best. But as the Soviets, I would have started poking at South America immediately, and well, unless he has the scoring, maybe dump it first. But he needs access to something. He got lucky with Africa, insanely lucky that nothing happened there. Well, that's insane. Okay, insane luck would have been getting the event for the region and then scoring it. But yes, still, uh, an AR1, uh, a headline of Portuguese Empire crumbles. <laughs> oh, and wow. he gets rid of the other okay. one. Okay, 
Okay, Zima Wit, there it is. South America scoring is now gone. Right. Nice. Are we, it's time for, to realign Cuba out of the, the hell out of there, or what? Could be, because, well, what else do you play for? Southeast Asia? Okay, Europe is locked. Now, you might want to spread in South America anyway. Okay. Yeah, I, I like this play. Getting into uh, getting into South America, it's you know eventually going to come around again. Okay, he decides a space. I I, I honestly think that realigning Cuba here is like very high value because you know you're basically doing an even. Uh, you can probably gonna get something out of Cuba, and if you get lucky, you can get a second sh uh, shot at minus one on Panama, and it's the only unscored region, so. The key thing is, what will the Soviets do? Because US, US has many, many options. Expand into Africa, expand into South America with OAS, or the realignments against Cuba. But Soviets are practically the only adventurers or potentially uh, of huge gain move is to go to Colombia, despite South America being just scored. Because everything, everywhere else, they are locked in. I mean, locked out of these regions. Yeah, the Colombia play is an interesting one because he knows he's not going to get access. But is is mil ops a consideration here? And Sergey wants to make sure he picks up those two mil ops. He has to do something for the last of the turn. Ooh, well, I mean, he's he up the must be crap. In Boy, order that to is... play. Yeah, I mean, he didn't space yet, so it will. Why didn't he space, actually? Instead of just playing Pope first. And with Truman around, I still, I think. That was a weird play. Maybe, uh, I haven't been counting the cards, guys, but maybe he's got Warsaw in hand and was hoping to bait uh, KN into jamming a bunch of ops in Poland? No, Warsaw was played on, uh -huh. I mean, he could, but place, Warsaw was played on turn one. Okay. Okay, I wish I had seen... Okay, head colonial, so some justification for his play. Now he will be getting headline peak. Oh, he needs some advantage badly here, since despite the score situation, he's badly behind. Due to, well, no access anywhere. I mean, wow. these regions were scored, so he will not get, get hugely behind on VPs. Well, with Europe and Southeast Asia scored, of course, he will be, like, down 7. Alliance for Progress might make it 10 or 11. Yeah. Uh, do you think we will see an AR7 bear trap here? Whoa. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. Oh He's my triggering God. voice. No, oh, but that's awful. I means he loses Panama. His hand can't be so bad, can it? That he cannot... Well, I don't know, what did he space? Panama. He spaced that. Colonials after Africa was scored. But why, why didn't Asia's he just take blue. the hit on Poland and just uh, make sure that you don't get wiped out of Panama? Panama is so important. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have loved to, have to see a third in Panama. I mean, I mean assume, his hand was hot garbage, has... that's for sure. Like, look at that. Like, uh, Panama Pol cannot return. Okay, maybe five year plan and a scoring. <laughs> but still, I cannot imagine a hand in which he would... He wouldn't have one op to take Panama first, to overprotect Panama, and, well, retake it after Voice of America. Wow. So maybe you, you could be looking at five-year plan in Europe, and he's got to play everything. Obviously, he doesn't have grain sales. Would have seen that go to space. Boy, this is obviously a tricky hand for Sergey. He does not have many options. The only problem that I see right now on, on KN's side is, like, he has way too many plays to boot ups right now. <laughs> he's not challenged anywhere. Exactly. He has way too many places uh, to go. And... Nah. I, I mean, he doesn't need to worry about regions being scored since exactly. all of them have been scored. But what and I mean is like, he has like, turn... everything open to take, right? Africa, really all not. his. South America, all his. Central America, for the most part, all his as well. So he can play whatever he wants. Yeah, and Southeast Asia, at some point, I think you want to fill up uh, as well. Four ops there gets you three VP. Assuming you don't play Vietnam Revolts, maybe you concede Vietnam. But I, I can perfectly you... see an action round seven being Colombia, Cameroon. 
Probably, although we'll see some more crap from Serhi, obviously. I mean, he has to have crap and crap, maybe five a plan to help him out. Uh, no clear subs. Yeah, not really an issue, actually. No clear subs <laughs> is <laughs> not a problem. It's actually kind of good because that's going to allow him to get BBs on military ops. So it's oh, that's yeah. true. He can cook Cuba. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Even he was overprotected. <laughs> In anticipation. I, mean, I think I would coup, coup, uh, coup Cuba. To, uh, to I, I think it's, VPs. yeah, for sure. The two VPs is worth a stupid coup. Okay, but I would maybe head uh, event the bear trap right now after nuclear subs. Since if nuclear subs is played AR6, then... <laughs> oh, <laughs> then he rolls that a six means... to knock him. The, the stop presence yeah. there. That usually means there's something specific going on with AR7. Either Kennedy or Five Year Plan. Yep. I, I would expect one of those two cards here. Even though nuclear subs is. Yeah, so. And... Five Year Plan of Europe. Yeah, a bear trap, a bear trap potentially would have been would have been the play. This looks, this is, I assume, Europe. Yeah. Hey, so Europe. a bear trap play. You, you called you it exactly right. Drop. Again, Zimowit, a bear trap play there would have uh, gotten, would have scored a KN five VPs. Mm, I like so better Cameroon, it's Colombia. easy to say, well, having fun with somebody else's hand. I mean, had it been my hand, seeing all that crap in my opponent's hand, I might be still hesitant to. All right, well, grain cells. Easy, one. easy headline here for grain cells. Pretty much. I am certainly happy to see Grand Sales in his hand, but at this point, perhaps he'd even be happier to see it in Sergey's hand. <laughs> True. Uh, one problem, if that can call be can be called such, is that he doesn't have any great coup targets. I mean, Iran, uh, an overprotected Iran is probably best. So. Yeah, and he would need a big card to a big card and a big roll to do any damage there. And of course, the region's already scored. Oh, there is always OPEC, of course. Yes, of course, yes. Yeah, poor Sir. I mean, he's living a red nightmare. A decent early war, but no access to mid-war regions. Well, except Maybe. for, of course, Panama. But I think I would have still played nuclear subs earlier in the turn, just allowing my opponent some coups against Panama, just to have a chance to stay there. Ugh, Learn to give himself to give himself a coup. Okay. Okay. okay well, at least he gets crap. Not a great pull there. But actually, it doesn't matter whether he coups now or not, since Defcon will be war for uh, at whatever Soviet set it on. So he might as well just use it for influence or mm. at coup Nicaragua. Yeah, I like a Nicaragua or a Haiti coup here. No, no, Nicaragua specifically, because that cuts access to Costa Rica, which ah, is yes, uh, route course. to Panama. Why doesn't he just return it and play instead of cooing? Because no, he's no, one... no, no. You don't return cards from grain cells. Cutting the hand size is too, is too important. Well, if you got crap um, and you don't want to space it. Well, but what Maybe. what is the what is the they say like CIA is gone, fire plan is gone, uh, almost all the cards that he could be. They could be problematic for him. They're already gone. But anyhow, let's say okay. Let's say I'll I'll take it anyway. I personally would have gone. Just a general rule. Although I do agree that most of the crap is gone. Well, uh, Sergey had it in his hand last turn. Exactly. There's still something. Anyhow, I would have moved out of uh, out of Sair or out of Colombia for sure. Instead of um, instead of. Uh, cooing or whatever he did, knowing that he's, so, he's yeah. just gonna raise the defcon anyway, you're not really protecting anything with that. Coup. Yeah, maybe a Colombia, although, of course, yeah, Colombia would might have been better because if he could in Africa, you grab Panama. If he doesn't, if he could Colombia, well, he did not coup your battleground and you're fighting for Colombia. So Sergey finally, at long last, with access in Africa, has got a foothold there in Zaire. 
I was wondering if maybe you could see, uh, maybe you would see a, a setting DEF CON to four and then a big four up coup in Thailand, hoping to roll huge. Uh, but either he doesn't have the cards for it or uh, just decided to play it safe and get into Africa. That would have been very interesting. Although you practically have to have a four up in order to try that. Uh, the one other approach would be to set Defton to four and just start cooing the little guys in Southeast Asia. The region is too due to be scored, and what's important, your opponent doesn't really have a great coup target. I mean, there is Pakistan, there's India, sorry, Iran, of course, but both of them are overprotected and scored. And when, even when he does that, you can have a counter coup in Africa, so you might want to grab something extra that way. Because as things are now, Serhil needs some golden hand with Kunta on top of it, on top of it, or the only card that could really make a difference. Okay, Kunta, ABM, maybe Brushwar, but Brushwar doesn't have a great target other than Italy. Obviously, we're not sure what Sergei has in his hand, but could you? Well, there, there you go. Brushwar, Argentina, he can actually... get it. Brasil and <laughs> Argentina is actually really good. Really good odds on and, and yeah, getting into okay. South, South America. I also wouldn't mind seeing from Sergey a, a three op flip of Laos, just with the region already scored, uh, get and potentially threaten Burma as well. Uh, there's just not not, not not a lot of great the places. The big threat for of to Burma. Go. The meme. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mm. think, uh, I mean, there is a point to be made there, but I think Asia is way too far gone to... Oh, oh he was listening. <laughs> and he takes Burma. Burma. Most important country on the map. And there it goes. <laughs> okay, I think maybe sir, he should start spreading Cameroon and Nicaragua. That way he probably gets either Nigeria or Panama. I think he's otherwise, just Suzuku, Haiti. Puppets, Mm, no, I mean Serhi going to uh, Nicaragua oh, and okay. uh, Cameroon simultaneously. Whoa, yeah, a good card with no ops attached. Okay. You have to coup Nicaragua in response. How about the factors? That's card, that card is useless anyway. Yep, and but get you some still. necessary mill ops. Oh, he's going to flip Laos back into access to Panama. That's weird. I mean, Central America is an unscored region. The only one uh, other than Southeast Asia, of course. Yep, and KN needs the mill ops anyway. And that. I mean, Nicaragua was an autoplay here for me. Oh, unless, so okay, maybe Sir, he has Southeast Asia and He's just spending a lot of bobs up. just to get two B, like a two BP swing. Yeah, the thing yeah, is, and he doesn't, doesn't put have... the one in Costa Rica. Just uh, opts to give KN another opportunity to coup Nicaragua. Maybe he's trying to better the odds of a of a brass war uh, Thailand as well. That would be really weird. I never seen anyone actually doing that, but I don't know at this point. <laughs> no, that's Wojciech's specialty. Oh, Just really? Increasing the odds for brush war by seemingly unusual um, taking control of a non bio ground. In here, it's perfectly normal. Just two sides fighting for an unscored region. More like, come on, Costa Rica, finally. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, Costa Rica finally reached there, and it looks like Sergey is going to be able to take Panama and with it, domination in Central America. He must be kicking himself right now. I mean, I could understand going for um, Laos, Cambodia when the opponent took it, but going for space when Panama is at stake and he is and doesn't have all the mill ops required, I mean, that's just wrong. So I think Sergei, if Sergey's got any kind of card here, we'll see him take Panama and that will allow KN to take Nigeria. He might have Che. We haven't seen him yet, and he would have been reasonable here. Oh, Che would, <laughs> che would be a very nice play here. 
Okay, but we would have seen it already, I think. Not sure about that. I don't think <clears throat> USA has gone to. Uh, well, there's no chat, so that, that's it. I don't think we've seen any movement into any non battleground yet on the on Africa and and America. Uh, you mean earlier? Yeah, earlier than this. Yes. Yeah. And by the way, all three should have went to Panama, not just two. Panama Canal returns is still around. And Israel can really wait for a while. And okay, now I would probably cook Colombia, unless you want to wait for Che with that, because otherwise he could just break Panama. Okay, other alternative is, of course, to overprotect Panama. Yeah, yeah, I think you'll see one of the two. And then like I now, asked it last turn and it didn't happen. Do you think we'll see a, an AR7 bear, bear trap here or for the event? I mean, that's what I was about to talk about. Like <clears throat> right now, he has to like either take a coup so he can get the mail ups or play bear trap. I think he should have planned the turn a little better. And he did event bear trap. Uh, oh. He gets Junta and Brush for <clears throat> And one small, and one small step. step. And Southeast Asia as well. Uh, okay, so this nice was hand. bound to happen. Okay, that was inevitable, but Brass were headlining into into Panama. But good events here. Well, pretty much. Rather have Junta, okay? That works too. No, Junta is better since you can use brush war against other targets. Not many of them, truth. <laughs> but okay, you might have just uh, two shots. No, Junta is guaranteed Panama, isn't it? Unless I don't know what can deserve its headline, ABM. Be a headline here. It doesn't uh, matter. Know. It's it's guaranteed because it's gonna break, so you can flip. Okay, okay that's so something. OPEC four VPs getting them up to ten. Not so gonna be enough. No ABM. I think you would have certainly seen ABM there if he had it to okay. take a crack at Thailand. This is starting to look like one of these games where USA seemingly has to be winning, but Soviet keeps an advantage so high that it might eventually uh, Ooh, and if a big he gets failure out of bear trap. Bear trap. <laughs> okay. It, it, the I problem just, now is say there's only three three threes in his hand, right? Brash war that you're gonna vent, brush nav is too early to play, and saw goffs that you have to repair. So there's not a lot of freebies that he can use to take that Panama. But he has time. He can do it in two action rounds. Puppets and Willy Brand. Yeah, puppets not That's really true. particularly useful now. I, I would uh, I would like to event one small step, so I'd like to save that. But certainly puppets and Willy yes. Brand you can let go, especially with West Germany overprotected. You can probably spare some ops in Europe. Everything is like triple overprotected, so probably Sogos is actually playable. At least some of it. Maybe one or two ops of that. Say something and. Okay, so to Panama. Yeah, that's what I'd be doing. Okay, it let's is. hope Sergei gets out of the trap right now. Telegraphing right now, shitty hand right there with that move. Although he's probably running out of US crap to get rid of. And what else could he have? Yeah, telegraphing, I, I suppose, a low ops hand. I, I, I would be happy with this hand if I were can, but yeah, Ooh. just not a lot of ops. Oh, and he fails the roll again. Mm. Well, that, that one is a good one to nice discard. To to space as well. Yeah, it would have been five, uh, five, five BBs, six BBs to play, probably. So, yeah, so yeah, certainly I mean, that would have would have been going to space, but it's three ops. So, um, actually, I might have held on to Alliance until after the reshuffle, because you really don't want to see that coming back. So I'm guessing that's why he did it, uh, discarded to Bear Trap immediately and went for Camp David. Yeah, there's just, there aren't a lot important. of scary US 2s left. Our man uh, is one of them. Right. Uh, for, it for might be Rosen, the only one. I think perhaps, but that's hardly scary. So had to dip into the threes there. Are there any? I mean, Elias Usuri, uh, gone. That's reasonable, actually. Yeah, I think yeah. so. That's fine. Shows a certain weakness of the hand, of course, that you're not fighting for Laos here. Okay, I'm get betting we'll see. Oh yeah, Kennedy. There goes Kennedy. Uh, so now he has to use... out of the trap. 
hmm. Pabe to Panama and Chile? Mm, actually, maybe Nicar no, not Nicaragua. Guatemala is the one. I mean, yeah, Guatemala, I like. It still doesn't get you domination. Uh, and I think Sergey, if he had the scoring, would just dump it right away. But I think Guatemala is a good play to at least threaten that. And if he has uh, the scoring, he will just dump it immediately. Unless he has ABM. Okay, that's one exception. But you need to go start fighting for the region. Yes, and I don't want to look too far ahead here, but what do you what do you guys like for a brush war target here for KN? Do you like Zaire? Do you like... <laughs> I'm obviously not Egypt. Uh, Pakistan's too overprotected. Is it Zaire? Sadly, probably yeah, yes. Probably yes. Because it's not really about the target, more like about getting all the milops that you need. Whoa, okay, he doesn't have central. But no, but still, even if he doesn't, he might suspect, should suspect that Ken does. Okay, failed and that's space still. Roll. So, Sergey, uh, still ahead by two spots, but of course, that's going to be. That will be canceled out by a one small step event. I assume we'll see that evented. Oh, definitely. Matter of fact, I might have evented one small step first to guarantee the one VP. Mm. Oh, you're if, correct. If that, role, yes. if that role succeeds and then you event it, you skip over the one VP. That's right. I missed that completely. I mean, usually it's you one small step for something that doesn't matter or for the two VP. Okay. I wonder, um, is there any crap. chance you could see KN hold Brush War to protect his two op countries, to protect Thailand, protect Italy? You just see him hold it through the reshuffle and then, of course, give up Allende or China? Yeah, but you don't want to do that. Allende gives access. China, well, gives China. I don't see it. I mean, you need Milops anyway. You need either to coup with something or use Brush War. So why not that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Some Put better hands. Evens up. Uh, evens up Africa. Hand. So I think it's time to brush, right? Kill his hopes. Brush it. Yeah, I think. All uh, right. No, and the two power. VPs from Flower Power wasn't even thinking about that. Well, that's something that you cannot really avoid. But six. <laughs> so flip over is that you're not the highest value of targets, but it does uh, change the picture in Africa. Three battlegrounds to one now. I mean, South African still... unrest. I don't believe we've seen yet. So that True. looks like that'll be coming up turn seven. Still, I don't mm. understand why Guatemala hasn't been killed by the Soviets. I mean, next turn, Central America will come. You want to kill something. Uh, okay, and you kill, could have even tried Muslim Revolution as an AR7 into Mexico. Or potentially with Guatemala to Bolivia taken. and then invented the, the Muslim Revolution. But, of course, yeah. Middle East already scored. That's a lot of that's a big ABM. investment. Yeah. Oh, and ABM. Uh, he gets ABM as ABM. well. Oh, uh, and and, Birch. Birch. He oh, and he gets South African as well. Oh, I mean, my goodness. This is a monster here for KN. Is there any big four left to come? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, we'll bury we'll you. We'll bury you. Yeah, Missile and B headline immediately. Right, but you might, uh, well, we'll no, bury you. I don't and think that's going it, because we'll you can run into headline. we will bury you and duck. Kayan doesn't need to do that. I mean, he will have to, Lag is un unlikely, he played it on turn 5, so it's unlikely that he gets that, but anyhow, yeah, I understand, he doesn't need it, so, you know, he, he has options. the crap out of Serhi. But Serhi knows that, so he has, to, he's probably going to have to play, uh, on headline just to avoid that well, how can you don't avoid the purge you just no no no, no sorry no we're not that's not what i meant yeah. that's like, like we have we to play it here. so missy <laughs> lambie doesn't pull it out right and then an immediate right. central america scoring i think exactly. that's what you're gonna see right and interestingly enough there will be soviets up 10 uh, when we are enter the and there it is late war Huh. <laughs> so so the U.S. is dominant on the board here, dominates in four and three regions, controls one, and is ahead in battlegrounds. It's going to control uh, two. That ABM yeah. will probably target Nicaragua. No, ABM sorry, Nicaragua. Nigeria, Nigeria, sorry. Or Brazil. 
that's also justified here. Oh, sorry, sorry, USA. Uh, yeah, I kept focusing on the US battlegrounds. So obviously Nigeria is the target here. So guys, it's it has seemed to me like this entire game, Sergey has been behind. He's been behind on the board, behind on the board, behind on the board, but yet he's getting these scoring cards out for minimal damage, and he's going to head into the late war in war games territory unless he's got something scary and really bad in his hand. Like this yeah, exactly. could get this one with a turn eight war games. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of those games. I mean, I had a similar game against. I think Anton Karamatov was. All ahead on the board, but I just misplayed slightly the VP situation, and he stole the War Games victory from me. Yeah, so so War Games probably Sergey's only hope. Of course, a redraw of Lone Gunman would be uh, another one, but with China card in. Yeah, and, he's and holding the China tougher. card here. So some low rolls on those coups, but just mill ops there, a couple of. I think uh, Sergey should go to space ASAP to get those PPs. No, no yeah, there are no, no VPs, VPs at, stake at here. Space I think he can, he can wait a oh, little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's correct. It's 3 1 is the previous one. Okay. Besides, he needs a 4 up there to, to, to do that. Later in the turn. No, it's a, this one is a 3 up, this roll. He's perched. So I thought. Oh, that's correct. That will be uh, mostly, I think, an eventful turn right now. It's uh, Kayan eventing Tehran, later eventing Voice of America as AR7. Just messing up Middle East, which is the only region, and scored region, even slightly beneficial for Serhi. So you're going to event Allende and try and realign, or uh, just put one into Chile and say, if you want to fight, me, fight me for Chile, go ahead. I really don't want to event high end there. I think this might be my hold card, actually. So then you give up South African? Card. That works. Yes, because I can repair that, and the access is not a real problem. Okay, just one. And not terribly meaningful at that. Europe is... Whoa, why very, is it Europe dominated? Very quietly, very quietly, almost silently, in fact. Sergey has stopped It's a country count, yeah. Indeed. I mean, how come Kayan allowed it? He rushed with Romanian abdication here. He should have delayed that. Ooh. Okay, well, this Ooh, could be a big, big one. Aye, not aye, enough. Aye. Not enough. I mean, I really started to root for Serhi in this game. The Even underdog, that, oh, clearly. That's been happening. Not at the underdog before the game. No, 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 but like... More like they kicked the dog throughout the game. Yeah, he's uh, he the luck hasn't been on his side for sure. But hey, he's still at plus ten, and you know we're turning the corner oh. of mid war. So I know, I know. Okay, so space the goal. Finally, I assume he's mi yeah, he might be worried about one happen. small step, but that's rather important. Yeah, I, I think you've got a you've got a space here, and just hope your opponent doesn't uh, have it. He gets he it. That's gigantic because it activates Star Wars as well. Activates Star Wars. Now you can get rid of Allende or South African Unrest, whichever one you don't like um, more. <laughs> and Voice will be a nice AR7 play, perhaps to remove some of the damage done by Whoa, South African Unrest. Whoa, okay, Ooh. what? That's... <laughs> okay. Okay, definitely now you now play Unrest, cool. definitely. Oh, no, Missile uh, Envy. Now you play Missile Envy. Right, Just grab that purge. I think Serhai should have remembered about Missile Envy, and because even now, it's not about getting the value from the event. It's about denying the purge for your opponent. Yeah. I would absolutely play Missile Envy for the event here. Um, it, you don't get much value, but you don't get purge next turn. <laughs> And you still get a coup. Uh, you would you still get a coup on air, although you don't really want to coup a South African unrest. No, you do want to coup a South yeah. African unrest because then you get the coup target. Oh, that's right. Of course, so he'll go into Angola here, and then you then you coup. Yeah. So he's going to coup Angola. Uh, why? Why? If influence, okay, I would understand influence one Angola, one Canada to restore the domination. Hmm. I do not understand that. 
Interesting. Okay. Still would event missile envy. Uh, oh, definitely. Now, of course, he could have redrawn duck and cover. But doesn't uh, matter. He has the but, purge. Right. Yeah, 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 exactly. He has the purge. So um, um, there's no, there's, there's nothing, there's no reason to not have not evented, I don't think. And a real line. I mean, he's got to do something. Okay. And he maybe assumes that after a coup, he will coup back in Africa. Yeah. Right. Maybe that's why Kayan didn't coup. He was worried yeah, wanted, that wanted a counter coup just. Two. Yes, counter coup just take another African battleground. That makes sense. Still, one in Canada has to happen this turn. AR6? What? And not from Israel. No, yeah. no. And that also doesn't do anything with regard to domination. The, the USSR are still comfortably ahead in the Middle East. That, that doesn't strike me as something that needs to be repaired immediately. Exactly. I mean, I might I have mean, thought about Asia there with two Pakistan, two North Korea, you know, threatening potential control. Um, it's both those not girls. a matter of control. You Whoa, and he's playing the perch. He's gonna fix what is it. he trying to hold from Kayan? I do wonder. I mean, Sadat, I think, is in his hand. I, I, okay, I, and okay. in Africa. I, that's fine. Okay. Discarding. Okay. A little surprised not to see Missile Envy evented there, but oh, okay. So, Kayan. The War Games. Warning. It's uh, okay. the Wargames plan is gone, so this is most likely going to be a USA victory. Again, he does have Middle East scoring, so <laughs> how close to 20 he will get is the question. So I'm going to put him quite close, but there are way too many scorings. And an IP war here would even out, uh, would even out Asia. Okay, so... Headline for AWAX. Okay, so that's now 11 VPs. And I wonder if you could see Europe scored immediately with domination. If broken. Middle East and OPEC would have gone to Sergei, we could be looking at a very different game right now. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. The Middle East currently is how much? Five? Yeah, so OPEC extra three, maybe four, depending on Saudi. Well, they're, go they're going to coup a lot in the region also, so. Okay, uh, or Sarhi just bleeding some VPs. They have a couple of VPs and with DEFCON at five. I wonder why that's not the, the, the space target. He must have other crap. I mean, it's Sarhi, he always has crap. Missile Envy gone. Okay, there is no way for the Soviets to access war games. Uh, yep, Salt and Missile Envy both gone. Either played or held for a while. Once. Okay. He gets it to the discards, of course, and curses a lot once again. He may he may take terrorism here. Nah. And okay, depending on his hand, but I mean, he could be holding on to grain sales. But yes, obviously terrorism or war games will be the target. Um, depends on what's in his hand. Yeah, it's war games. You are correct, Zimowit. Okay, now that both sides know it's to play for the Middle East, I guess no three ops that you wanted to no play. No three ops. Yeah, right. exactly, this is exactly what I do. I would dump the scoring right away. Probably. 14. <laughs> so funny. I don't remember Jeez. a game sync with such a huge advantage for one side and us being confident that, well, the other side is winning. Unless it's some Europe or DEFCON situation, of course, but winning overall. I don't know. Maybe he can somehow pull a rabbit out of his hat. Very unlikely. I mean, turn A plus 14, you know, it's like it, it, he can almost and, uh, inch it. Yeah, if we're going to do the math here, just real quick, trying to do it in my head, Central America is even, Europe is even, South America is plus eight for the U.S., Africa is plus seven, I believe, for the U.S., uh, yes, eight, uh, and then Middle East minus five, so plus three, uh, so 
uh, and then Asia obviously positive for for the U.S. as well. So it's I think it's about even when you consider the fact that the USSR is up 14 VPs. Yes, even in final scoring, but all these regions my common score except yes. for the Middle East. The thing is, you cannot really count so... on Africa as a plus nothing because Africa there's still two more turns. True, and probably the rail line in Nigeria is the move right now. Unless, no, okay, if you are rich, rich enough, okay, there's that. <laughs> that but helps. If you are rich enough, you might go for with Germany. And Indonesia. <laughs> why, why Indonesia there? That, that, I don't think you're going to be able to meaningfully fight on country count. Why Indonesia and not another one yeah, in South Africa? Probably, or, or here? right. <laughs> It's just and that, well, you might want to just slowly inch in Asia, scroll towards uh, the parity. Okay, I'm not believing myself when I say it. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I think I'd rather have that op in Africa, but okay. Probably. Like, especially knowing that, knowing uh, Kayan's hand and knowing that he doesn't have a lot of ops to, uh, to parry a decal like that. So he's going to be able to take Nigeria. Maybe South Africa as well, maybe, or at least get a couple in there. Of course, I think that'd be responded to with a Botswana play. And then OPEC, should... of course, will go to space, trying to get four VP. But he should go for Europe. Uh. Sadat. Okay, Sadat I mean, it makes sense, red. sure, but I was hoping to see a high card here. Did you think about a terrorism uh, for the event uh... to take two rounds in a row? I mean, one of them will be space, so probably not. And besides, taking West Germany is just so important here. Just to yeah. stop any attempts by the Soviets. Well, and the rest reformer, of course. There's that. Yeah, reformer is a concern. Still, though, taking West Germany back, obviously important, but still not enough for domination. EU to space... Stops the and discard. Works. A lot of space race action. Here. And, and four ooh, VPs. Gets to four. Man. Oh my. Okay. Wow. I, I've never seen a completed space race in a game. I guess it's possible we could see it here. Although, of course, Kayan would We've seen a space of four. Once before. Or, sorry, right? yeah, we need to draw one small step. How long we have yeah. one one space race completed before in the in action round zero? I think the only one I have seen, uh, or the one I remember, was a live game on the. Polish championship or Polish convention some time ago. So two two into Saudi Arabia and one into Indonesia. Why not just fill up South Africa there with Africa unscored and then a, a coup yes. towards the region? I, I think I would have liked to see South Africa. Oh, definitely. Is there no stop to his great events? Yeah. Grain yeah. Oh, yeah. Is great. Uh, Camp David is great. So oh, Solidarity yeah. is great. Obviously, grain sales. Um, I think it's grain yeah. sales for coup, right? On... Yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. Now, interestingly, Quagmire cannot go to space, so that is going to have to be held. Uh, oh, right. Indeed. Quagmire <laughs> cannot go to space. That's a decent AR7 for the next turn. Yeah, now he knows that uh, Aldrich and Terrorism both gone, so he knows that he can play it on AR7 next turn. Gu uh, gunman will never be a problem. Yep, Gunman's not going to be a problem. Well, it seems like all the vectors, uh, possible vectors of victory for Serhi are taken away from him. War games. Uh, yeah. or he the needs none of these scoring cards, cards to come up. And he needs a big break. Okay. Death yeah, that's meaningless, not... actually. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. He, and he gets happily... to discard Quagmire. <laughs> he will happily take that. Wow, what a break. What a break for Kayan. Yeah. Now he gets an extra card on turn one. Obviously, okay, Quagmire wasn't going to be a problem, but now he gets an extra card on turn 10. Exactly. Marine Barracks uh, get, gets you Middle East control uh, if oh, you want that's it. that's nice. Well, you uh, do which, want which it. Which is nice, but yeah. Not going to help you in the regions where you are behind. So you yeah, but Middle East well. control, control, it's a lot of BPs. It's going yeah. to help you balance out two dominations. I mean, right now you keep praying that none of the scorings will happen because if they do, well, the already lost game is, well, pretty damn lost. And well, you're starting to look for VPs somewhere. 
a adventure you need to do something about South America it means just a pure domin pure control with no non battleground influence. Yeah, I mean, no, it no access so even. Easy to somehow break influence attack. Uh, okay, I guess he grabs Nigeria and Libya with North Sea oil. Okay. North Sea oil is a fine play here. Uh, oh, but... not Libya. Okay. I so I've got to give up to take advantage begins. of it with that discard. Interesting. So and of Colonial? Course, already gone. I think I would no, absolutely no. take Libya here. No question about it. I don't. I'm not sure you need Lebanon. Maybe. Well, maybe with a maybe no, if there's a brush war. No. No, um, you need to restore domination over Africa because it was just taken from you. Yes, that's true. So Botswana, I assume, is the play. Yeah, I like Botswana. Okay. It does take Why Lebanon just in, just in case of a brush war, I guess. Sergey is going to need at least one region flip here. Africa would seem to be a good candidate, but you know, ABM is gone. A lot of a lot of good stuff that could shake up a, a game uh, is gone. Exactly. Also, Europe looking pretty weak. Is uh, does not have those battlegrounds overprotected now. Chernobyl is gone, but Anne, of course, is going to event solidarity. Um, and Star Wars we haven't seen yet, so could use that to get EEU, something like that. So, okay, going a lot of for avenues at play here. South Africa. Oh yes, now the yeah. big Colonial. one. Quite strong here, and all the ops going into Africa, not making any Whoa. attempt to take back Laos or Indonesia, and I like that play. Definitely. And now you need how much? You need three ops to restore the draw in Africa. Yeah. And he just cannot afford anywhere protection. It's a funny, I don't know, com in comparison with his early war and early game play, when he could have just overprotected everything, put uh, influence, even the most superfluous battlegrounds. Right now, he's just spread so thin. He cannot afford to do anything in Europe since he needs to fight for Africa. Yeah, more crap. That's for influence. So an insta domination in Central America. Central America, for sure, I would think. Okay, well, Africa, of course. Yeah, Taiwan, nah, wouldn't bother. Okay, but Ethiopia, I would have taken a moment to do that. Kind of weird that he didn't. Probably Ethiopia and two in central would be my choice. Yeah, yeah, I like that. What about flipping uh, Nigeria? He's still, it's still open. True, but he might want to leave it for later. He secured Botswana now, so a good attack position against South Africa. So do you think Solidarity will wait till AR7? Uh, certainly Camp David needs to be, to be evented as well. But Solidarity probably an AR7 play? Possibly, although he needs to keep Africa dominated. That's his chief focus for the turn. And I would even sacrifice Solidarity and play it for Ops if, it, uh, if that is what it took. Camp David, yeah. no. I want the Camp David event, that's for sure, especially since, oh la la, uh, since uh, flower power is active, so Arab Israeli might be an issue. Okay, now probably grab Nigeria. Exactly. Yep, yep, that's a good play. Just ask your opponent, how are your three ops? He has spent one to coup a non battleground, right? So I wouldn't say too bad. 
Uh, okay. Hey. So an event suggests he doesn't have Africa. He's playing a Probably. little bit like he had Africa, but he does not. Okay, so a moment to event one of our own. Yep, that is that is what I would be doing. I think exactly. That's, Camp David is a strong event here. Special relationships for ops and solidarity on AR7. Or flip those two around either way. Yeah, Camp David might have been a tad stronger as AR7. Okay. Th and that so would that have left Egypt. Solidarity on AR6. Okay. I do wonder why he didn't leave a strong event like that for his last play. Okay, maybe he wanted an ops play in case of, in case of something happened in Africa. Yeah, I think that's I, I I think that's exactly what he's thinking. He wants I to be able to respond if there's if anything weird happens in Africa here. Okay, that's useless. Yep, can't discard here. So probably in Africa. Saharan states. Probably here? Saharan, yeah, just in case. I, I guess so. Okay. Pass the last. He, he gets Africa. Africa. And a pretty good hand. Yeah. Have we ever seen Kayan leading in this game? I don't no, think so. That, that VP tracker has never been blue. I think so. And even with Africa <laughs> scoring, unless, of course, uh, Sergey has one of the other scorings, even with that, just Africa scoring is not going to be enough to turn it blue until, of course, final scoring. So Did we see a defector's seems... headline here? Probably. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, gunman. And gunman. So yeah. what? So, so the country Zaire. count is 6 4. So a flip here of Nigeria or Zaire, Zaire. stops domination. The, since then, you have a, a realignment position against Angola. Yes. For the future, which probably doesn't matter, but well, at least let's minimize the loss. So, Sergey is going to need a four on that Zaire coup. There's a, there's a big roll coming up. Unless, of course, Sergey has South, uh, South America, in which case it doesn't really matter. He's lost anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think he is lost anyway, whatever happens here. The map is just too overwhelmingly blue. I mean, we would need like... Okay, he got it. So, guess so at roll. least it won't be very far in this Next corner. a little bit interesting. Just so... a little bit. <laughs> That's gonna flip the region, probably. Like, the realignment in Angola is, oh, like, yeah. is like free, basically. But, okay, as without events, he cannot do anything about any other regions. That's so correct. now, either realign Angola or retake Saudi Arabia. And he knows that uh, Kayan has a monster hand, ops-wise, so he cannot win any ops race. Anywhere, he cannot, for example, go for Asia, uh, like for South Korea, and hope that he manages to steal it away. Yes. Kn mean... with a with a monster hand ops wise, yes, but no scary events. Uh, none of these cards are getting invented, so it's just going to be straight ops. And so Sergey, he's got that he's got a big pile of. Yeah, but when you're ahead, all hand. you need is hops. Yep. Yeah. Just to repair damage. Exactly. Much. Will be will be more than enough for Kn. Much. So probably just take Saudi Arabia, hoping that the Botswana coup fails. Maybe it will. Ooh, la 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 la. Okay, he he's sending, multiple... setting up a second target. And perhaps an arms race? Is arms race still in the deck? I think it is, but I think he was just setting up real lines. Yeah, well, now that right. is realignable, boom, boom. so he has to go for Angola right away. Or just Ku Cameron back, of course. Yes, he could. Probably he, he could. Oh, yes, the there he goes. Do. Yeah, you really want the secondary target for your realignments. 
But KN, happy to just go back and forth here on these coups. I think that's enough, right? You go here, you trigger the realigns. Yes, right now Probably. I would realign. You don't have a great secondary target. I mean, it has to be Panama or Zaire, sadly. Because even if you lose influence there, it doesn't really matter. Probably Panama, since if you get Panama to 6-0, well, so what? After Angola, of course. So, Sergei would have two ridges then, but can, of course, four. Yeah, no, an yeah, AR7 still reformer enough, maybe would, still enough. Would, would, would draw Europe. What? Influence? Okay, Ivory maybe Coast, he was maybe? Saudi first. Yeah, okay, yeah, I like that. I like that. He forces Kayan to do another coup in Cameroon. And he even will have to use... Maybe he will go for Costa Rica, not because Ivory that. Coast. Yeah, Ivory Coast. And then he can realign without losing uh, position in Middle East. Is Formosan active? Oh, yes, it, it is. is. Yes, right. it is. So, one more VP from Asia. Not that it matters very much. Okay, come on. Now you have to realign Angola and then Panama. If there is a then, of course. I think it's just taking control of Middle East when he could. A control of Middle East is actually a lot of BBs. Yeah, presence plus control, I believe, is 13, and control with US presence is still 10. 10. Yeah. Yes. Of course, it is. you have to overprotect all those if you want to get it in final scoring. Um, so it would have, would have required a lot of ops, and Middle East was already scored, but control is really valuable there. Yeah, but you cannot get it against these ops. No, certainly not. Okay, so after realign, it's getting late uh, for Sergey here. Pretty much. I mean, he you needs, have four he more plays. He needs some big rolls in a hurry. <laughs> he also needs to have drawn reformer. Yes, he needs to attack somewhere in AR seven. If, but okay, Kayan will leave NATO for his last play. Since what else? So sure, he'll but be able reformer to. Reformer is souped up, so NATO wouldn't be enough to fix Europe. Again, it's it's not. Likely yes, to but matter. can it damage it enough? Because Europe is currently six four, and only ba one Balgrant can be attacked. Oh, finally, here it see is. Some action. And a miss. <laughs> okay. Oh, and uh, miss. my God! That's a joke. That's a joke. That's ridiculous. Misses on a couple of plus twos. Yeah, I mean, he he's had, really a good sport about it. He had a plus two, and he realigned himself out of Angola. Oh. And he had another plus is, two, and he realigned himself out of South. This is now the game for Sergey on, on the luck side. Exactly. And, I mean, I really kudos to the man for... Holding well, up the game not all the way. a lot of very chosen words against this game in general or luck in general in the chat. Not sh I'm not sure I would have held my peace after rolls like this. I mean, there's bad luck and there's just travesty of justice. Absolutely. This game, I mean, Kayan played it uh, really good, but definitely, like, there's like, Almost nothing that Sergey could have done to turn this game around. Like almost every opportunity, uh, it was just taken away from him. Yeah. And a Glasnost play suggests he does not have Reformer. Definitely. We'll see it later, but I think he would have played Reformer first. So now you could just flip Angola. You wouldn't have to bother with the real lines. Yeah, but yeah, we'll just flip it back. I don't expect he has another four up unless China. Oh, card. oh, okay. <laughs> that yeah, could be interesting. kudos to the man. But wait, he will have two last plays. Yes, now he will have the, the... Last, the last. No, not two. The last play of the. Yeah, now game. the USSR gets the last play. Nice. Makes things Damn. a little bit more interesting. With that, and had he succeeded in Angola. 
That might yeah. have been interesting with the last play. Now Kayan rushes to overprotect everything because he's not going to take the last action round. <laughs> exactly. Okay. This this makes things a little bit more interesting. But still, KN with domination in four regions. You need that Angola flip. Really needed that Angola flip, and he didn't get it. Pretty much. Okay, so... What can you do here? So, a four op, four ops for Sergey does break Middle East presence. There's that's something. No, come on, he um, knows the four breaks up here. Two battlegrounds in Asia. Doesn't matter. Since breaks West Germany, three. stops Europe domination. Everything easily stopped by NATO. No, you need to take Angola here, I yes. think. And then after NATO retakes it, you need to realign and pray. Pray that you break domination, sorry, control of South America. So or Europe domination five, in central. Central is two. Uh, South America is eight. So that's 15 there. Uh, if we assume Africa is going to be even Middle East five, so that's plus 10. And so, yeah, KN up probably seven or eight VPs here if the game were to end right this second. So yeah, Sergey so needs he, a big card to needs, flip Angola. He needs to go with, with the China card on the last AR. Oh, depends on uh, what he has, of course. Well, but like first realign goes for Angola. Let's assume that you know there's like a flip flip, and then he can realign. Boom, that's one. Then he realigns Brazil and get and just knock off at least one of Brazil. So. Venezuela. Oh, okay, actually, it doesn't matter. This is the doesn't same. matter. It's, uh, Brazil is actually better because you don't need to get one out. And then but yeah, the, but at Venezuela you have a better modifier. So also he's got one in a, in. Uh... Uh, Argentina from the Iron Lady. So, and I don't believe that KN has a non battleground. So, just one up there stops control and stops domination. And that one, KN has just overprotected Angola, oh, sorry, Argentina and Chile. Oh, he does. He does. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't see it. Sorry about that. Yeah, right um, after one small step, he immediately overprotected Chile, Argentina, and West Germany. And then, very correctly. The so. last real line, probably Panama? Yeah. Uh, Alama is worth how much? Three. If you just uh, uh, make USA lose control. I mean, you uh, you don't assume to take control over Panama. Well, assuming that all of that happened, he'll be dominating Africa. Uh, yes, dominating Africa, dominating Middle East, getting dominating in Asia, getting dominating in Europe. So that's basically like a wash. And then he would be dominating in South America and even in Central America. If all that works, he will, I think he will win. Oh, no, yeah. that's okay. It. Never so mind. never mind. mind. Never mind. This game is over. <laughs> All for nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're making so such a big plans for a survey. <laughs> oh my goodness! And it turns out that nothing really matters. Yeah, do it. Uh, oh, I, and he misses yeah, his yeah, roll. An excellent choice, sir. That's a that's a really Good weird flex right there. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it didn't work. He's like, I know, I know nothing can take this game away from me, so it's whatever. Okay, grabs Angola just for That's not enough. Sake. That's um, yeah, game. so regardless of the realignment coup, that could not have worked. 